All right, y'all see all the food stuff. I've got to give you a little workout action. Come on now. So if you want to see more workout videos, comment down below. I'm feeling fired up. I've got my tea fuel shaker. If you couldn't tell, I'm at Planet Fitness in my girlfriend's truck. But I'm motivated. Just got back from Chicago last night. Uh, fresh off the acting gig. Fresh motivation to keep getting swole and keep working hard. I'm already a little fired up, so I'm only going with a scoop and a half of my pre-EAA. Looks like a winter wonderland in here. <sighs> but we're about to get fired up. There we go. Everything you need for a good workout, guys. Good pump, good energy, good focus, good endurance. And, uh, yeah, I've got my flannel on so we don't get kicked out of Planet Fitness, but once I pop the top, you might hear some sirens going off. So let's get in, check it out, show you what kind of pump you could get in Planet Fitness. All right, first order of business, the recumbent bike. I've been doing this for about a decade. This is how I warm up. If I'm in contest prep, I'll do it a little bit longer. Uh, I like to do around 10 to 15 minutes just to get the blood moving and chip away at my daily cardio total. So maybe you're not a fan of doing all your cardio at once. Break it up. That's fine. You know, hit a little pre, hit a little post. You just don't want to hit a lot before you work out if you want to perform at a high level because it's going to kind of zap your energy. But if you don't want to hear my workout tips, stay tuned till the end. So I'm gonna take you shopping somewhere nice. All right, so we're gonna start chest day with a little pre-exhaustion. What does that mean? Well, it means that Planet Fitness only goes up to 75 pound dumbbells. So we're gonna make the chest a little tired here first, but we're gonna get a lot of blood flow in the chest. So when we get on the 75 pound dumbbells, they're a little bit tougher than normal. So I've been using this grip on pec deck flies here lately. So you can see my hands are going lower than my shoulders. I used to do it when I was coming in like that. I was using too much shoulders. So now I'm kind of arm straight. <clears throat> Feel it in the chest every second of the way. <sighs> Get your arms out there in front of you. <clears throat> Squeeze, control. All right, let's hit a little warm up set of incline here. We've got some 65s. That way we got room to go up. Then we're gonna take off the pump cover, baby. I hope we don't get kicked out. As you can tell, I'm whispering. Straight through the ceiling. I like to keep my elbows tucked a little bit. That way I can generate more force through the upper chest. Straight up. Relocation on the mic. Hopefully my chain don't get it too hard. World Pumpkin Pie Championship. One of my favorite challenges I've ever done. <clears throat> Let's take these 75s for a ride. <clears throat> About three seconds down. One, two, three, up. One, two, three. Uh, 
All right, so see how I struggled a little bit at the end? That's from the pre-exhaustion. So I normally do, you know, when I'm training with Derek, somewhere around 110s on the incline, we're doing 75s here. But you gotta be strategic if you only have 75s. You can always get in a good workout no matter what weight you got. You just gotta make it harder. Guys, I wanna know what is the pass out rate in Planet Fitness? I'm scared to breathe loud. I was like, dang, I better start breathing here. I'm gonna fall out. Bottom to the top to stimulate the upper chest. We already did a fly to incorporate the middle chest. Let's keep driving this upper chest so we can get the upper chest shelf. <clears throat> get your money's worth. Come on. It's almost like you're coming towards a mirror. Try to get up and out there. That way you can stimulate that upper part up there around your clavicle. Now, sometimes I like to do this one arm at a time, but I'm so fired up to shop later. I can't wait to show y'all where I'm going. Now, we need to hit a little lower pick. It's all about hitting the angles, guys. Bodybuilding is sharpening each angle, adding clay where you want it. So now, we want a little more down here since we already hit the top in the middle. So bring these close to your waistline and really squeeze through the bottom of your pecs. And make your chest do it. A lot of people want to bicep it in. Chest. Don't even need a grip. <clears throat> In the 30 minute section let's polish off his chest day with some press it's kind of like a, a flat bench movement we're going to pump it out we're going to find an angle that works best for us if you're pressing and it hurts you got something going on up here adjust adjust your hands just because the handle is straight don't mean you have to push it straight sometimes i angle my hands and grip it kind of with the the heel of my hand and in my head I'm always trying to make the thumbs meet the thumb meet meet right here when I'm pressing I've got that in my mind even if I'm on a fixed machine I'm still accentuating the thumb meet all right when I'm coming in I'm going down on flies I'm doing flies up here. I'm coming in. That's just going to allow you about that much more range of motion to really polish off the pecs. Shh, don't tell nobody. All right, somebody's got 135 on here, so we'll see what that feels like. Oh, it's pretty good. Always chest up, guys. On oh, back day, on chest day, chest up. Otherwise, you're gonna be using your shoulders, more triceps, keep a good posture through all of your workouts in the gym. All right, a little shorter rest times today. All right, last set here, guys. And then we're going shopping. 
throwing in the jaws or size here this is a level three elite trainer pretty tough bite but I'm trying to beef up those masseters and improve your facial structure try it out DWF 33 link down below if you want to check it out I don't get commission I'm just trying to help you all out both in the gym self-confidence whatever you need to use it for stress relief anxiety you hungry you're snacking too much because you need to chew on something throw us in but most of all I don't know what to do with my teeth <laughs> when I'm pressing and when it's heavy movement so it, it kind of acts as a makeshift mouthpiece so I'll throw it in I'll bite down and I'm not grinding my teeth Nice little static hold there to burn out last of the day. I usually do calves or something, but uh, got a lot of stuff to do today. I'm here in Ohio, need to get back to my girlfriend's house and uh, hopefully there's something on a dinner table for me when I get back. Little tasty treat for the raccoon baby let's get out of here getting back to the pumpkin pie ate 11 pounds in eight minutes uh, 43 slices in this bad boy so I just found it put a little fresh cut on it but let's check the pump out Hey, Planet Fitness knows what they're doing. They got that immaculate lighting in the bathroom to make everybody feel good about herself. But I'm here for it. It makes me feel good too. Especially coming off of a Chicago deep dish bender. And, uh, but I appreciate y'all hanging in there with me on this Planet Fitness pump. Make sure to check out tfuelsubs.com it's my company I created the products for me to perform at the pro level but also to help as many other people as possible safe healthy products to help you reach your goals the pre EAA I take it every single day I work out it's been about three years straight now also three years straight on the fiber greens if you guys are having trouble pooping Listen, I got you back. Digestion is paramount in both professional sports that I compete in, both bodybuilding and competitive eating. You gotta have the digestion down, guys. Especially if you're trying to make gains, you're trying to build muscle, you're trying to lose fat. You can't do it as optimally as you'd like if your digestion is impaired. So make sure to take care of your gut, take care of your family, your friends, they need some help if they need some help 
let them know that you know an IFBB pro that's willing to help you. DM me, Dream Weaver IV. Make sure you subscribe to the TikTok lives coming in. I'm doing one a day. It's either eating or it's either food. So if you like either one of those, tune in. God bless you all. Appreciate all y'all support. Until next time. We're out. Come on now. I can't leave without a couple of these bad boys. It's a little post-workout treat, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got to get those carbs in, baby. I lied, my friends. We got to stop by Goodwill to pick up a nice pair of slacks. Hopefully I can find somebody's granddaddy's pants. Yeah. What? $4.89 for a pair of slacks? I'm about to be sharp at this ceremony tomorrow, guys. Listen, I don't need many pair of pants living in Florida. So why would you spend a lot of money on a nice pair of pants? You come get you some granddaddy slacks. I'll wear my Birkenstocks with them tomorrow. It'd be perfect. <laughs> All right, let's give this a shot. Let's do a little Goodwill fit haul. Ready? Wow, that's a pretty good fit for Goodwill. First try. All right, good option. Next one. Boom, option number two. Pleated, baby. Like the 80s. Good fit on the booty. Plenty of room in the quads. But do we really want to wear pleated with this flannel? So this is the only long sleeve shirt I have with me. What do y'all think? We going with the gray pair? Or are we going with the granddaddy pleated pair? I probably need to tuck this in. That's not too bad. Third option, ready? Option three, definitely the most comfortable so far. A little less pleated, so these would probably look better with the shirt. We got some bell bottom action though. I just like these other ones because of the brand name. Ballin' baby. <laughs> hey, everybody needs a pair of ballin' pleated khakis. Option four. Boom! Look at these, baby. I feel like MC Hammer. Man. Dang, those make me look... Look a little slim in the back. Nice little parachute pants. Definitely the most comfortable so far. Definitely got the most inseam of any of them. I don't know. What do y'all think? Comment down below. All right, living in the dressing room here. Let's see if we can find a different shirt since I'm always wearing the same flannel shirt. Gotta get these post-workout carbs in. Mm. Mm. All right, let's get a shirt, guys. Let's get out here, it's time to eat. Missing that protein window. Ooh, we found a new fit, pulled an audible. These are half off, it's gonna be about two or three bucks. This shirt's like five bucks. Such a killer fit. I'll probably donate it back before I leave so I can bless somebody else. Look at this. Seven dollars for this? This is not bad. Might have to keep it. Got a little flamingo back there. That's my style anyway. So there you have it. Get some shopping done at Goodwill. Don't break the bank for some last minute deal and put yourself in a bind financially, who cares? Get it cheap, make sure it fits. Listen, when you're dressed up, there's only two ways to show off the muscle. A little forearm action, just roll it up, and a good quad fit. If you need help getting quads, dreamweaverfit.com, I would be glad to coach you, help you reach your goals as soon as possible. And now it's time to go home and eat. I got to get out of here, guys. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. A lot of food content coming up soon. So make sure you turn on the little bell. Cha -ding! And you'll be notified of the next great video. Till next time.
we're out. Goodwill 784 looking good. Let's go eat, right? Let's go eat.